Hi everybody and welcome to Vanessa My Life My Journey. I am here today to talk about weavers. I know this is looking a little disgusting but I wanted to show you this as an example because if I don't show you this disgustingly right now you won't know how good they work. So if you get weavers in your flour or your sugar or any of your um, you know any of the foods that you keep in your cabinet I want to show you uh, I used to get weavers really 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 bad in this complex where I live at when I first moved here and I put these little roach thingamajigs in my cabinets and my goodness they work as you can see these are dead weavers obviously they like whatever is in the roach motel and they crawl in there and then they come out and they die so they do not go in your food and as you can see there are tons of them and this is like the second or third time I have replaced these so also in the bottom of my cabinet on the floor oh my goodness look at that look how many of them are dead you guys so I'm getting ready to clean this out and I just wanted to show you that these little roach motels work for more than roaches. They also kill weavers. That was a surprise to me. I did not know that, but I'm so happy that I did discover that. So I'm going to come back and show you these cabinets cleaned out in a minute. So you guys, I'm taking everything out of the cabinet and I'm going to clean it out. I don't know what that stain is, what wasted right there. But I'm going to clean this with Ajax and attempt to get everything out of here. So you guys, I've taken everything out of the cabinet. And all the weavers were dead that you've seen except for one. And he's dead now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to take some Ajax and put it in here. And I'm going to take the other container in the back. And I store my items also in plastic containers like this. So that way the weavers don't get into it. I didn't know I had some oatmeal. Oh, I can eat oatmeal, y'all. Okay, you guys. So I cleaned out the cabinet. And I'm going to place everything back in here. This is pretty much the cleanest it's going to get with Ajax. And I'm going to clean the bottom shelf off. Uh, that's pretty much the only, sh this is pretty much the only shelf and the bottom shelf is pretty much the only shelf that usually gets the weavers because everything else is in jars. So we're going to place everything else back up here. And then when I get through, I'm going to add some more of those little roach traps back up here to see if we have any new ones coming in. Okay, you guys, so this is the cabinet cleaned out, and here we go. Brand new box of combat roach killing bait that works for more than just roaches, as you just seen. So, we're gonna put two of these in here again, one in each corner. Okay, okay, you guys, so I finished cleaning out the bottom cabinet, and now I'm gonna show you the sink. Everything that you see is black or all dead weavers that I cleaned up out of the cabinet. And I want you to know that weavers are not necessarily having anything to do with you being clean or not. If you move in somewhere where there is an infestation of weavers, they're going to get in your food. And even when you get rid of them, out of your apartment if your neighbors have them they're going to continue to come back so that is the issue for me I keep setting my little traps out to get them and they keep coming back so I'm going to continue to kill them as long as they come because that's keeping them out of my food and the more they come to my apartment that I kill maybe I can help get rid of all of them <laughs> the other people are obviously not doing anything to kill them 
so you know I'm being proactive and I'm getting rid of them so I hope this video was helpful to you and you enjoyed it don't forget to give the video a thumbs up leave lots of comments down below don't forget to press the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and be sure to come back for another video thanks for watching bye now